Hello, I'm Lynn from The Posy Patch. In this video, I want to demonstrate a couple of ways of making bases for funeral flowers that don't uh, use any floral foam. Um, I do know that there are, there's a lot of floral foam used for funeral flowers, especially for the top of coffins. So I've been trying to find ways to reduce the use of this. The most popular method for me is to get um, pieces of wood like this, cut them to size and then screw them together. Makes a very solid base. Now on top of the base, I use these compostable food trays, which come in, I've tried different sizes, but this is the best one for me. Now this idea is actually scalable. This size is the most popular size that I do, and it uses three trays. However, if you want a small arrangement, you can just, make your wood smaller and have two trays or the biggest size which uses four trays. The method's the same whichever way you use it. Now once you've made your base, it's got six screws in it, I then lay my trays on top like this and I staple them on. Now as you can see, this is a very solid base that I could then fill. However, you'll also notice that I used six screws and some staples. So this actually isn't completely biodegradable and compostable. So I wanted to find a method that was. So I thought, try using a grid of bamboo canes tied together with um, jute twine. Um, Obviously, you could use any type of twig to make this arrangement. I've just made it the same size as my other one, so it takes three trays. Now, this time for the trays, I've made holes in the bases and I've threaded uh, more twine through. So, I'm going to put them down like this. base over the top and then attach the base to um, the trays. So this is the finished base. I've tied on the um, containers with more twine and as you can see it's actually quite a solid, solid base. Now for added security because these are actually compostable they do actually go soft over time. I do add a layer of compostable bin bag, so that goes in like that, just to add a bit more water, water security. Now, it's up to you what you then fill it with. I use, if I'm using a moss mix, I do mix it with rehydrated cocoa fibre, which comes in bricks like this, which reduces the amount of moss that I need to use. And it also gives a good um, texture to work with. It's, it's more dense than just moss on its own. Holds lots of water. So I then really really push that in to give a nice dense mix to work with like that but obviously finish it off with a layer of natural moss like that and then when that's done when it's all complete I then put a couple more bits of twine over it to keep it all secure alternatively I've now started using this product from Agrawal, which is a natural floral brick, cuts to size really well, or, and I can use that as well. So the choice is yours. So hopefully you can see that you can make large pieces for, for coffins without using floral foam, either completely biodegradable and compostable using um, twigs or with bits of wood that you can sew, um, screw and staple together. I hope that's useful. Thank you.